All right, you guys, welcome back to another episode here in City Skylines. And we are back in our humble abode of Vermont, which is funny because that should be a state, but you know, whatever. And I, we need to expand because this entire residential area is full and I need to move down to here. The only other problem is that this is getting really disgusting. And I mean, the farming area here is really nice to have because it's not disgusting, but the actual industrial area is very era, era, area, words, is very, very gross. And I do not like it to say the least, but I'm not sure where exactly I'd want to put it. Um, there's mostly just a bunch of farming land down here. Let's go ahead and come here and show this. Look at all this farming and then trees. Um, uh, I really, I wonder if I could just get rid of all of it and just make it all farming. That might be interesting. Although I know for us to do better, it works better to have all types of industrial areas. So maybe I'll just have one this one tiny era era area for the normal industrialized area. Oh my goodness! I just need to stop saying era area words words. I cannot talk. I can never talk. Um, but I'm not sure where I'd want to put it. Honestly, over here would be great for tree lodging area. So maybe this whole area right here. I'm still saying it will be for <laughs> fertile land as well as anything else. And there is no places for ore, right? I didn't see that at all. Let's go up here. I don't see any ore at all. I guess, now that might be a little bit of oil. Huh. Oh well. Yeah, no, available zero, zero. So we just have, for, okay, well I guess we won't be doing that. Well, honestly, that's fine. We can make this a pretty green town then and only have one tiny area that looks gross. So I guess that's good. Um, I think we can purchase land. Can we? I can. Uh, I can. It's almost $4,000 for that one. Everything else is 3000 Where do I want to expand? Well, where do I want the houses to go is the main question. I know I want all this to be pretty much industrial because it has so much farming. I could do the houses right along the line, the line of the river the whole way, but I've done that before. Maybe it could do its own little suburb. Take this area. I said it right that time. Maybe. You know, I kind of like that one the most. Yeah. Oh, that does have oil in it. So that is oil. It's just not that intense. Huh. Or I could go this way. That has ore? Where is the ore? Oh, it's just very small amounts. That's really weird. Hmm. Okay. So I could go up here and get ore. I could go down here and get oil. I think we go up here and get ore and I'll make this area an industrial area and just kind of cut the city off a bit so it's like it's on the own neighborhood next to this industrial area and i'll block it off with trees and stuff so let's just go this way then oh i can purchase another one well i don't have i don't want to do that i don't want to spend my money on that um okay so now we're here but i don't want to oh wait i could always just move this first and then have all my or i can move all the houses <sighs> i'm thinking too far ahead to say the least I do like having this here. I think this will be my one spot where I have the start of the industrial area. And I do want to um, upgrade these roads. So let's upgrade this guy and then upgrade that guy. Because that'll be like the main cross section. And then of course we'll have another on and off ramp later down there. Um, and this is going to go of course over the river in a bit. But right now no. Because I don't really need it to. Um, huh, I don't know what I want to do with this road too much. Should I make it wrap back around up to here? Maybe. That might be a good idea. Right here is the $9,000 road. Let's do it. And just take you straight down. Okay, I do not like this bump in the road. So let's go ahead and redo that and then I'll kind of come back through here with my terraforming 
uh, level terrain. I want this to be strong and big, and I want it to be all this level. Let's get this hill gone. Really? It's one of these? Place soil somewhere. How about here? Okay, that worked. But that was, oh my lord. That wasn't a thing in my last game, was it? Why was that not a thing in the last game? I do not know. I'm very confused by this, so how about I go here? That takes soil. Go here. Okay. I'm already out of money. Well, that's been fun. <laughs> so I'm going to let time pass and hopefully we can get money back pretty quick and I can take down the rest of this hill and then move the road down and actually start creating another little residential area and then we can move the industrial area over to here eventually. I have some money. This game is loud in my ear. Turn it down. Not enough money. I know. Sad day. Why can't I be rich? <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm gonna keep working on this, and I'll be back in a little bit. Earthquake could hit the area soon. Uh. Okay. Cool, guys. I did not want an earthquake to hit right now. I finally got this little residential area laid out. Where? Oh, it's over there. Okay. Oh my lordy. Is that really where? It, oh wow. Is occurring. Don't panic and wait for help if you're in the affected area. That's pretty deep, honestly. That's a little intimidating, to say the least. Uh, and in all seriousness, earthquakes don't actually cause this much of a trench to be built. I would know. I lived in California, lived through many, and this is only a 6.1. The most it would do would be create landslides falling off of hills and houses falling over, of course. But if you live in an earthquake-prone area, a lot of the actual houses are built up to earthquake standards, at least in America. So they are less likely to actually fall over. Most of them just wiggle. Um, so this wouldn't really happen unless it was a very large earthquake right along the, uh, an actual uh, plate line that you could see, like the San Andreas Fault. If it happened right along the fault, then maybe, but it's pretty rare for something that catastrophic to happen unless it is a catastrophic earthquake. But that really wasn't. They said it was a 6.1. 6.1s don't do that. 6.1s shake the whole ground a little bit and and mess some things up unless you're living in other areas that are not as well prepared or built for earthquakes even though they should be. That was my little tangent. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed learning about earthquakes today on Iandis's channel. <laughs> um, but yeah, 6.1 I've, I've slept through before. But then again, if it's right underneath you, it's pretty hard to sleep through it because it does shake the whole house. But a lot of people in California really are used to it, and we just we just kind of sleep through it. Like, it's a big deal if it hits 7 or higher. 6 is a little iffy, but most of the time it's fine. And it might cause cracks in some roads and things like that, but not a giant trench. So, okay. Oh, no, we have a sewage problem. I just saw that. Uh, we have a sewage and a water problem. We need both. Let me go take you, move you there, take you. I can't attach it, it's still there. Ugh, gosh. Also, I don't need a little piece of piping. <laughs> just being lazy, I should have just bought the pipe. There's that, there's that. How about now? Y'all happy? Y'all happy. There we go. Now look at your poop go down the stream. Look at that go. <laughs> So yes, as you can see, I built this little area here. That's like my favorite word when I play this game. I need to figure out district. I could say district. It's got three, no, it's got two entrances, three entrances. One here, one there, and one all the way over here too. So they have three different ways to get in and out of the residential area. They do have a school in there, although they need a high school. Is this the high school? Oh yes, high school. This is perfect because oh, it would fit right there. Mm-hmm. If it's right here, right, perfect. Let's do that. Sorry, houses. There we go. So now they have all the school they need. They do need some safety, which I can put right along here. 
Mm. Right there? I think right here would be better. All right, there we go. We got some police officers. Let's get some firemen. Beautiful. Everyone's safer now. Awesome, awesome. Medical clinic, I do not have money for at this moment in time, but they seem to be doing all right. Although I need some power now that I see that on the top right corner. We need power in the city. Of course we do. Um, I'm not sure. I think I'm just using regular oil for power. But let me build this first. No, no, let's not. Let's focus on power. Um, where? Are, yeah, I have those two power plants, but I do not have the money for another one yet. Nineteen thousand. I can't believe we're only at like a four thousand, po not even five thousand population. This town is so tiny. It's cute. Oh hey, speaking of, awesome, awesome. Thank you guys very much. What do I get? Everything. So I can do taxis and buses, finally. It said something about leisure, so I can do more leisure stuff. That's all. That's cool. They added a lot more. I like the skate park. That's adorable. Oh, that's so cute. I don't really want to put a skate park down just yet. I need more electricity. I can do an oil power one, but that's 50,000. Heavy pollution. Heavy pollution. 40 output, 120 output. Maybe I will do the oil one for now until I can get solar panel going. Come on, let me see that electricity shoot up. That's what I like. Woo! I think we'll be good on electricity for quite a while, to say the least, because that, that, that jumped. And let's see, I wanted to put down still, I don't have any money. What's this? Well, it's a big hospital. What's this? A cemetery? How's death care doing? Fine. Only one person's dead. Cool. Well, there's only one person in this graveyard, although it shows a lot more than one. Oh, no. Never mind. There's more than that. <laughs> ah. So what I do want to do in this episode, aside from creating a different industrial area and possibly fixing that, I want to take this freeway and make it go up and turn over the river. Now, to do that, do I have the option to do it? I do now. I do want it to have the sound barrier because we are going through a residential area. Let's see. I want it to go up steadily. Let's go to right there. Okay, I don't like how it's not even. Okay, and speaking of, let's just upgrade the sound barrier on this. Just because I feel like being a nice human being for these people. There we go. Honestly, every good freeway has a sound barrier like that. At least the ones that go through residential areas. I could upgrade that. Yeah, let's do that. That's a freeway. One way only, guys. Okay, so now that we have it going up, we just need to take it across. Bring it around town, you know? <laughs> Let's see, I could take it straight out. I do not have enough money. That's a lot of money. Let's turn it like this. Let's do a big circle. No, I'm kidding. Straight across. Takes a lot of money. I do not have that much money. Well, at least I have it prepped and ready for me to continue because I just want it to go over at an angle and then down, and then we'll have it connect over to this uh, freeway as soon as we get access to it. But for now, I need to continue growing this. I'm going to probably take all this residential area and expand it down here and down here and have two other sections for these people. Although, maybe I can... I don't have that much money. Give me! <laughs> Not enough money, almost. Look at how close we are. Look at how close this is. It's so close. The soil availability isn't even full yet. Give me the soil. I know you want me to grow the city. It's always grow the city this, grow the city that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why is this called disasters? These are canals. Why are they considered a disaster? And then these, I can actually call disasters? Whoa, that's weird. A tsunami would be really weird to happen in this river. Oh, I can't. I have too much. I have too much power right now. I think maybe to make things fun because it is a disaster game. 
Um, I'll grow the city to as big as possible. And then, and only then, I will go ahead and um, blow, save the city. Then we'll blow it to bits and pieces and then come back to a previous save so I can keep growing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that would I love doing that and playing with the disasters in the game. It's actually really fun to do. So there's that. Not enough money, I know. I'm just trying to level out this bank here. Maybe I'll come through and put an actual, what is this called? This, a, a key all the way down it because that would probably be the best looking thing I could do for this area. Era, area, area, era. <laughs> Words, I hate it, I hate it. A flood wall would be pretty good too though. Maybe I will do a flood wall. Cannot build on water? Really? Oh, that's interesting. Now I'll just do a key then. <laughs> All the way across it once I get some money. But right now I don't have any, and I'm just going to do this landscaping right here. Smooth it out a bit. There we go. Get rid of some of that extra dirt I had. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and keep on building this, and then we'll be back in a little bit. In the area. Residents should avoid roads and waterfronts. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. That tsunami hit really fast. Like, there was not even a real warning. Is that how tsunamis really are? I don't know. And my poop. The poop is coming back. They're all going to get so sick. It's weird that it's going upstream. Like, it's really weird that it's going upstream. Look at this. Why would it make more sense to come downstream? So far, we don't seem to be getting hit. There's a little bit going on, but not too bad. It's mostly on the other side of the coast. Except for the fact, oh no, it is kind of bad, uh, that our poop stuff is totally, totally underwater. Oh no. Well, there goes the high school and that whole part of the town. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Um. Um, I don't even know where to begin for this. Oh my god. That exploded a lot more than I thought. A tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid roads and waterfronts until the water Are there multiple speeds. tsunamis or something? Please don't go over the freeway. Oh shoot. My whole city. Literally the whole city. Oh my, I'm taking a picture of this. It didn't look that bad when we started out. <laughs> That's to say the least. Um. Um. A tsunami has struck the city. How many tsunamis is there going to be? Or is it just and like over and over again? Seeds. Literally the whole area except for the farmland. Well, it looks like I might be building a flood wall then. To say the least. Um, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm very, very sorry. Your whole life has been destroyed. <laughs> See, literally everywhere except for the industrial area was affected. That's extremely unfortunate. This little water needs to get out. Get out. The tsunami has struck the city. Take caution and avoid Lady. roads and waterfronts until the water recedes. Lady, chill. I think it's receding. Chill, chill, chill. Yeah, we're going to build a flood wall then in the next episode. Oh my lordy. This poor town! Look at Jackson Street. I can't believe they're still driving through it. Driving through flooded Jackson Street. It's okay, guys. Whatever. At least this part's clear. Okay. Well, aside from the random tsunami, um, I expanded this area. In case you can't tell, we got lovely houses in there. And I expanded out here with the industrial the area. What are you talking about? Until the water recedes. Can you shut up? I know people are sick, but stop. Jeez. Okay. Wow, this must be all the people coming back after they evacuated. But I also added this off-ramp for the industrial area so the trucks can come out here. 
And then most people are still coming up from here. At least traffic seems to be moving. I just don't like it how they have, of course, they're all in three lanes and they all got to get off right there because they're so, they're open. Um, hmm, I wonder. I could do, uh, of course not, it's too close. Distance too short, of course it is. Um... I don't know, I'm kind of, I'm kind of screwed, kind of stuck with it like that. Oh well. Oh well. It looks nice though. <laughs> but I think that's all the time I have for this episode today, you guys. It was rather eventful, to say the least, a tsunami and an earthquake. Um, great. It, just, it was just great. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like down below to show your support for the series. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Uh, did I already say that? I probably did. I'm kind of wondering what this is and I'm not really thinking. Okay, cool. So do I... Okay, there it goes. I was like, how do I get rid of it? Anyways, thank you again. Leave a comment, subscribe, like, all that stuff. I don't remember what I've said so far. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye, guys.